I think very early on there was some kind of hope, um, particularly on the part of the producers, that we might be able to just get four local sheep and and um, and sort of stick them in a house and, and wing it. Um, thankfully, sense prevailed and, and we got the professionals to come and do it because uh, we, we had some merinos even yesterday on set as a sort of dressing and, you know, they're crazy mad things. Kirsten's managed to get her sheep to come to her. <laughs> she calls their names, they come to her. Sam and, and everyone have been able to work with them. Uh, it's still wacky to see a sheep in a house, you know, that's just bottom line. Seeing a sheep in a house is a weird thing, so. I've been a, a sheep farmer in real life. When I was a young boy, uh, uh, my family came from central Queensland. And there the, <laughs> the sheep stations are on a huge scale, a huge scale. And so um, when I was about 14 was the first time I got on a horse and mustered sheep from one paddock to another. And there's a running joke in this about merinos because we don't breed merinos. And I was always impressed by how stupid the merinos were, they'd been bred for wool and little else. And so every time one would, would lay down, you would have to get off your horse and pick it up and put it on its feet and send it on its way again. Otherwise it would lay there until the crows picked its eyes up. So I did know a little about it. I'm an owner of sheep and um, I've always wanted to work with sheep, obviously. But this is the first time I've actively, I think, worked with sheep on a professional acting sort of basis. They're acting so I. I don't have these sort of sheep. I have um, South Suffolk. They have black faces and black socks. You know, a very attractive type of breed. It's not always a good thing to be named, uh, uh, have your name used for one of my rams. Um, one of my rams, Brian Brown, was the first ram that I you know, that um, I, I named, followed by George Grieg and various others, but Hugo Weaving actually died doing what rams do best. He actually fell off the back of a ewe one day and his, we found him with his feet in the air, four, four feet, you know. He was dead, died on the job. Heroic, actually. He's much mourned. You might think it's a good way to go, but it's a busy business being a ram. A good ram can cover 80 ewes in a day. It's a very prodigious male animal. Our sheep dog. Well, we've got two dogs. Yeah, one's the dog that'll do all that stuff for you, and the other is an actual sheep dog. And it is so into the sheep that it takes no notice of me on the quad bike. The number of times I had to jam on the brake to avoid running over the dog, which I would have been probably banned from Mount Barker and sent back to Sydney. Because as much as I've, I've, uh, I've had dogs and I've, uh, I've had trained dogs, I've never actually worked with dogs and sheep. Um, it's usually we do everything, we used to do everything on horseback and, and we didn't use dogs at, at Central Queensland, where uh, some, some properties there did. But uh, as, a, as a young fella, I didn't. 